Welcome back to Vulcanoids, the only survival game that's ever been released that has kind of a post-apocalyptic kind of cyberpunk feel to it. And I just got a key for it today, so I thought I would make a Let's Play series or at least a single episode. So this is the beautiful world we shall call Loverland. This is, that's what I'm going to call every single world for the rest of my, if it's, if it's a world that I get to, it's Loverland. The, oh, what, hold up, time out. The top of it says volcano eruption in two minutes. I feel like that's really not giving me a whole lot of time to prep for a volcano eruption. But there's our beautiful submarine. So you can see, we just took that bad boy from, from Ohio, the, the Ohio Ocean. You may not have heard of that. Anyway, hide from eruption. Obviously, there's a volcano coming, so we've got to be a little bit careful about this. Run into submarine. Quick, run into the submarine. The volcano will erupt soon. Oh, <laughs> doc. I just left the volcano. We just came all the way from Ohio in that submarine. And you mean to go back in? Give me a second, all right? Give me a second. We're going to explore a little bit. That's enough exploring. Time to go back to the submarine. Time to go hide. Loverland, we will miss you. It's been a pleasure. All right, let's go check out. Let's go check this out. Obviously, we got to hide inside for another two minutes. So we're just going to jump into this little little hole right here. Let's just, I'm just a little curious. Can't kill the captain. You know, we were wondering that too. I'm not the only guy. So here we have a nice war plan map. We've got uh, lava source. There's three volcanoes. There is a fourth volcano. Oh, there's a volcano with lava sources. Okay, quite interesting. That's just too much for me. Oh, there's the map. Okay, so where are we? You know what? I think that's just a map of the volcano. I don't really see a map of us. So maybe the volcano... Oh, the save button. Let's do that. Okay, that's... You definitely don't want to do that. You know what? I almost feel like the system's turned off. It also sounds like the volcano's erupting. Would you look at that? It actually gives us a periscope so we can watch the eruption with safety. That's... That's phenomenal. It's like just a giant nuclear bomb going off. I haven't been around a lot of volcanoes in my life, so I can't say for sure whether or not that's accurate, but I can say I'm really glad I found this periscope that got depressing really fast. And that's how the entire city of Loverland was killed. Okay, well, it looks like the periscope is pretty much blocked off. Can't really... Oh, there we go. We got a little bit of a view. It's safe to go out. Now continue with your agenda. Wow, well, thank you, Captain, who apparently knows everything. So it looks like you can store stuff. That's exciting. We've got... I don't know. That kind of looks like another storage. Oh, it was like extra ammo. Interesting. Well, obviously, I'm going to take extra ammo. I mean, I feel like you got to just max that out. Okay, we're just going to keep 18 shots. I don't need that much. This looks like some kind of crafting thing. Obviously, periscope, refinery station. And this is our menu, course, loss, balance, hole. Okay, so this stuff's all cool and fun, fine and dandy. But really, what we need to go. You guys remember, like, five minutes ago, when we were here and Loverland was, like, the coolest thing ever. And now it's just a barren wasteland. Now this is Nerd Parade Land. Now it's just Nerd Parade Land. It looks like... <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I don't know him, but, um, yeah, that's what we're gonna call it. You see that, guys? The scrap metal came back, the same one that I broke? I'm thinking in 2020. Okay, so, uh, it says we want to mine some coal, we want to mine some copper, we want to survive. I'm assuming we want to make it to that volcano, and I should also mention, if you guys end up liking this game, and you're, like, watching me play, and you're like, dude, this is so cool, okay? If you're, if you're thinking like that, first off, congrats for thinking like me, but this game isn't released yet, so... You know, I'm kind of a YouTuber, I get these cool perks. It's like, this, you know, it's whatever. It's not even, not even that cool, I guess. It's whatever. It sounds really windy right here. I don't know if volcanoes actually generate wind like it's making me feel, but I'm saying maybe that's not that likely. We'll just uh, scale this little mountain here. Shouldn't really take too much energy off of us. And you know what I'm noticing, guys? This is kind of a big deal. I don't see anything about food or water. Wait, hold on. The volcano erupts again in another 15 minutes? What kind of volcano is this? Press 2 to unequip. Use the submarine systems for production. Okay, so we gotta go back to the submarine, do some production. This game really prided itself on its ability. Hold on, we gotta get that scrap metal, very important. Wow, so we have 15 minutes until we gotta come back here to hide for our lives. This is a this is a pretty indestructible submarine. I mean, surviving consistent volcanic eruptions. Go to the storage module, click it with left mouse button. Storage, I believe we found, it says go to storage module. Wait, deploy storage module. That's gotta be it. That, you see, it's the same words, guys. So now it says copper to storage, this to storage. So I guess we go here and then go to the power module on the ceiling. Is there a power module on the ceiling? I don't... Oh, there's... That looks like a power module. Okay, put that on the ceiling. That looks good. The refinery module on the wall. We are turning this ship alive, guys, and it feels so good. There it is. There it is. Thank you for the nice little, nice little text that just appears there. It makes it a little easier for someone like me. And then click on the menu on the refinery and select copper. Oh, we have to click it a bunch. Can I just make a whole bunch of these? Boom. 17, 18, 19, 20, 24, 25, 26. I don't think I need that many. We got 30 of them coming up. I don't even think I got that much material. We got 30 coming up. That's huge. Got to obviously turn on the production module. You know, it's an old submarine, guys. It came from Ohio. It's been a long journey. Hashtag down with Brian. We got to do what we got to do. So this is our production station. This is our refinery station. 
So then everything gets pulled from our storage. I'm learning, I'm learning. So we're gonna go here and it wants us to make a copper tube. Components, okay, so there's all these different areas. You can make different guns. Periscope, map stand, radio, chest. Okay, lots of stuff there. Okay, okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go component. Oh my gosh, this is this is overwhelming. It is simple, but it's overwhelming, and I really don't like how it's in that corner because I like to look at you guys because your beautiful faces. Just kidding, it's just a camera screen, but I pretend I'm looking at you, and that is what just really makes this real. All right, don't forget to lick your screen. Production tier one, is this what it's talking about? I really hope so, or otherwise I just waste some material. Please be what we need, please be what we need, yes. And then finally it says produce a refinery model. Boom, that's it. So this should be everything that we need. I don't know what any of this does, of course, neither do you, but we now have all of the items. Great. Energy is needed to have production running. So all of this stuff we did was to get these little giant wheels, kind of like pieces of metal to spin in a circle. It's a lot of work to make that happen. Energy indicator shows available points. Okay, so I guess we are currently generating energy. All of that stuff we did, all of those parts we made. Energy's coming in. It's looking good. Okay, so now we're going to close modules. I'm still not sure I 100% understand it, but it says it wants us to close that. Now we want to close the other module. So we're going to come over here. We're going to close this. Well, I just want to go back outside. What is this? What is this? Why are you making me live inside of a freaking submarine? I want to go out and do cool stuff. It says we have closed modules. Energy bar is full. Balance has no negative output. You can skip this message by pressing enter. Now it says we've got more available slots. Core slots 10 out of 100. Core slots get a little bit more full. If I open this course slots gets even more full i still don't know what that means like guys does anyone understand what's happening we got all the course guys i still, I still have no idea but this is an adventure okay now we want to talk to the captain accept the quest drill ship surfacing the drill ship is about to surface be ready to board watch out for survivors okay the drill ship's about to surface does that mean th is this the oh wait that must be the drill ship the giant uh do you guys think my deductive reasoning is solid i feel like the fact that i saw a giant ship with a drill and knew instantly that it was the drill ship wait hold on lover nation's back what a weird village. Sorry, this is Lover Loverland, not Lover Nation. So now Nerd Parade City's gone. It's Lover Loverland again. So this is our beautiful volcano. This is our beautiful core module. And as you can see, this bad boy's got a three. Oh snap! We got a little Robo Monkey thing. Oh, good for you. Go go do your stuff. Okay. Oh no. Nope. Okay, that's great. You're aggressive. I really thought they were safe. You know, they seem so so jolly and good, like a little Santa Claus. Okay. Well, I guess it's ours now. Thank you for the donation, Nerf friends. So there's actually some storage inside of this. Breach replacement. Module for repairing and restoring walls. I'm curious. I mean, clearly we've got some broken... Equip the repair tool by pressing one. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now we're putting things on the fixed walls. But the problem is, I put that one right behind another, like, piece of equipment. So, like, I need another... It's okay. We'll just go for it. We, 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 can, uh, we can make that work back there. Drill ship's now fully operational, so maybe it was hijacked by little robot boys. If you lose production module or any other important device, build a new one in the submarine. So what, can I drive this thing now? Is this like my vehicle? We got a nice work table. We got a nice little storage. Again, we've got a decent amount of iron. I think, okay, I think I'm starting to get a feel for it. There's all these buttons. You turn them on. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Volcanoes are up here and there. Guys, I really like the music. It's so, like, it's not even music. It's just like little birds chirping, and it just gives me a nice little happy feeling inside, and it just feels good, okay? Okay, so guys, remember, this, is a, this isn't even released. This is such an early game. It's not even out yet. So yes, the side, if you are reading and following along in this gameplay, does not make any sense at all. It literally says it, it's nonsense, but we need to find coal, and that is our mission right now. And as we're here, we have five minutes until the next volcano erupts. We got more Robo Boys. They're pretty easy to kill, though, especially since our shotgun seems to have pretty much infinite range here. Health's looking good. It's actually really satisfying. I like. Oh, snap. They had chests inside of them? What the crap is this? I mean, I'm not going to complain. That's freaking incredible, I feel like. But I really just came here for, you know, basic materials. Do I even need it? Hold on now. Do I even need this? If I'm killing robots that give me everything I need, I don't even need materials. Let's get it. Let's use a quick med kit, though. Quick old Fortnite, patch it up, you know how it is, and pull out that uh, double shot, double pump. Yeah, I really don't need any copper. I'm really, I'm really curious about this house. There are clearly robots here that live on this island. Oh yeah, let's go. Not a chance, bucko. Not a freaking chance. What do you got? Some bolts, I'll take that. Little module repair kit, I'll take that, no problem. Thank you. Let's go, bucko. Let's go, bucko. Come on there. Come on there, robot friend. Only one more left. Hopefully the range can't hit us from over here. Take those pipes. Come here, bucko. Come here, bucko. I'm glad that they're at least fairly easy to kill at this point in the game, because I'm not the greatest. I swear, if I can't go inside this house, if you can freaking... I can't go inside this freaking most annoying thing. I came all the way over here. I killed freaking monsters, and all you can do is not let me in? I mean, sure, there's scrap metal on the outside. Great, but I want to go inside. This is my future home. Well, I guess maybe they heard me murder an entire city and decided to come check out what's going on, so... 
Okay, so volcano is erupting in three minutes. So I guess like every 15 minutes of gameplay, you literally have to go back to your submarine. At least right now. Maybe once we get our little drill boy up and running, get him smoothing on and cutting through surfaces like warm knife through butter. It'll be clean. What a what a good little saying I just pulled into that. Just keep saying your system has no energy. Get more coal. I don't know where to get coal. I don't know. If, I don't know where to find it. So, I think I don't know where the point of this actually keeps me. Scrap station. That's exciting. I don't know if I really need that, but I could I could put a wall right there. Oh, that's storage or something. Well, let's let's take it upstairs. Let's see what we can do. There's like a good spot. I don't know what that is. We'll put that there. Um. So that's all the stuff we got from our from our dudes we killed. Okay, so it says hide from eruption. I'm curious if we can hide in here. And I'm also curious if we can drive this. Got some questions, boys. Run to your drill strip and hide from eruption. You click the go down button to go under down. Where's the go down button? I don't see a go down button. This is an emergency, boys. Wait, there it is. I see a button that says down. Come on, come on. Go down the ladder. Go down the ladder. Go down the ladder. Go down the ladder. There. Down. 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 Oh, go down. There's actually a go down button. Wow, would you look at that? Let's see what happens. So I guess our ship actually drives. This is exciting. Look at that. Look at that thing go, guys. That is the most fantastic. Go get him. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, no. I want to see. I want to see. Oh, I'm not even looking because I clicked a button. Surface target. God, I didn't know you could drive this. I need a periscope in here. Hold up, boys. I don't think I have one. Wait, 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 wait. This is a periscope. So we are underground. So there's the city. There's the volcano. Absolutely beautiful eruption again. So I guess now that we have this thing, we can drive around the island, start collecting, start surviving. And we don't really need the submarine, I'm guessing. And now it's Nerd Parade City again. Absolutely beautiful. Guys, this is a brand new game. It's literally not released. If you like it, let me know. We'll do more in the future. Thank you for checking out today's episode. As always, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Spread the love, guys. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you all tomorrow.